Hello and welcome to today's screencast. My name is Matthew Berry. I'm head of product development at Nanowall AG and I'm going to present you the calibration standards offered by Nanowall. In order to get the most accurate results out of any SPM or AFM system, it needs to be calibrated from time to time. This is particularly true for quantitative dimensional characterization of micro and nanostructures. Nanowall offers three different categories of calibration standards. The first two categories are designed to calibrate the SPM or AFM scanning mechanism. The first one is dedicated to the calibration of X and Y axis and exists in two different versions, while the second one is meant for the calibration of Z axis. The third category is intended to be used to analyze and correct the scanner bore of the piezo scanner used in most SPMs and AFMs. Let's start our description with the XY calibration standards. As mentioned earlier, they are designed for a very precise calibration of the X and Y axis of the scanning mechanism of SPM and AFM systems. They are available in two different versions called 2D200 and 2D300 and consist of a two-dimensional lattice of inverted square pyramids etched into a silicon chip with a pitch of 200, respectively 300 nanometers. The accuracy of the pitch is 0.1 person on a 10 by 10 square micron scan error and drops down to 0.01 person when the full active area of 100 by 100 square microns is scanned. On bottom left you can see an AFM image of the calibration standards 2T300 on which you can observe the squares which are the basis of the inverted pyramids etched into the silicon. On bottom right you can observe a section analysis of an AFM image of the calibration standard 2D200. The distance between two consecutive minimums is 200.31 nanometers, which is very close to the 200 nanometers expected. The second category of calibration standards is the height standards, called H8. It is designed for a very precise calibration of the z-axis of the scanning mechanism of SPM and AFM systems. It consists of multiple arrays of hole and stripe arrays etched into silicon. There are a total of five different patterns, as you can see on the sketch on the left. The depth of the structures is in the range of 8 nanometers. On bottom left you can observe an AFM image of one pattern of the H8 calibration standard and on the right a corresponding section analysis. The measured vertical distance is 8.08 nanometers which is very close to the expected 8 nanometers. On bottom right you can observe a Z height estimation by histogram evaluation of a 20 by 20 square microns area scan in the central pattern of the H8 standard. The step height equals the peak-to-peak -peak distance of the spectrum and its value is 8.09 nanometers. The last calibration standard offered by Nanovolt is a flatness standard called FLAT. It is intended to be used to analyze and correct the scanner bow of the piezo scanner used in most SPMs and AFMs. It consists of a superflat plane which is formed by a quartz substrate covered with a structured chromium layer. The maximum peak to valley distance on a 100 by 100 square microns area is 10 nanometers. On bottom left you can see an AFM image of the flat calibration standard showing a bow-like distortion due to scanner bow. On bottom right you can observe the comparison between an AFM line scan of the flat calibration standard with its bow-like distortion which is shown in red and an interferometrically generated line scan shown in black. The calibration standards 2D200, 2D300 and FLAT benefit from a so-called Find Me orientation pattern which helps to find the calibrated error on the chip. On bottom left you have an overview of the calibration standard with a calibrated central error surrounded by the Find Me pattern. The Find Me pattern consists of a system of two squares, one being larger than the other one, where the reciprocal orientation shows the direction and their distance shows the distance to the calibrated central error as shown on bottom right image. And with this I want to end today's screencast. I thank you for your time, attention and interest in our calibration standards. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via info at nanowall.com.